guys, it's Bushai here, and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. Feels good to say it, feels good to be here. And I get to start with some of my favorite couple of words, besides the fact that I have my tea. We're starting with Hank and Connor. I forgot how long this game is. We have so much left to do. <sighs> we're back with Hank and Connor, though, so it's all good. If we're, I'm ready, and you're ready, let's get this show on the road. Alright, here we go. Hank friend! I'm very scared. <laughs> of course he does. About this episode. But I think because Hank and I are friends, and I just, you know, am a people pleaser, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> This may be different too, because I actually know that Hank has a son. So maybe it's different. Oh my gosh, is that Kamsky? Yeah, I don't care about that. That's Kamsky. What does it have to say? I'm just gonna. Uh, in 2028, Elijah Kamsky was the man of the century. His creations have transformed our world. Androids didn't just revolutionize the economy, they changed the way we live, restructured our family lives, and altered the balance of society forever, whether for good or bad. Shortly after Kamsky had disappeared, out ousted as CEO of Cyberlife and living in obscurity outside the media glare. The man of the century has left the very world that he recreated. Kamsky Stories begins in 2018 when commercial property in Detroit was cheap and attracting many startups. 2018, wow, that was a while ago. Um, oh, that was a while ago. Um, anyway, the college graduate bet what little he had on developing an Android prototype and spent years to no avail until hitting on two breakthroughs. Blue blood and bio components. Oops. No, that's... Okay, it's being weird. Anyway, Elijah Kamsky created Androids in 2028. It's 2038 when this game takes place, so 10 years ago. 20 years ago was 2018 in this game. Look, it's the bridge. Hey, Hank. Please don't shoot me. <laughs> I know that's an option. Don't do it. Oh, he's so tense. Nice view, huh? It is. I used to come here a lot before. Personal question? Before what? Yeah. Hmm? That was my natural progression. You said, I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Oh, he almost told us. I like that there's no... Personal question. Can I ask you a personal question? Lieutenant. Do all androids ask so many personal questions? Or is it just you? It's just him. Photo. I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. Oh. I don't it think it would have gone son, up either way. Right? Yeah. His name was Cole. It's a nice name. It's, I don't think it would have gone up either way, like suicide or child. I'm not making child, any progress in this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. I do like how Connor just kind well, of drops it must be some that. link. I can't hear it. RA9. That is a link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Connor's trying so hard. Something they just invented like, let me that wasn't part of their peace, original man. program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? He looks so sweet. Oh, he's you so seem cold. preoccupied, like Lieutenant. Like he's cold, that's adorable. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. 
They just wanted to be together. They really seemed in love. Yeah, they did. Uh... You seem troubled, Lieutenant. I didn't think machines could have such an effect on you. <laughs> what about you, Connor? Okay, no, that was good. I liked that. <laughs> I liked that. Oh, dear. You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? Um... Defensive? You know exactly what I am. In any case, I don't see how that's relevant to the oh, investigation. Bad choice. Bad choice. You could have shot those two girls, but you did. To be fair, he is kind of deviating. Why didn't so you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? Truth? No. Okay, I like that. I just decided not to shoot. Okay, that's good. All. Okay, good. Okay, good. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Great. Scared. Are you afraid to die, Connor? Yes. I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. I'm scared of you dying. What happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? I don't know. Nothing. Nothing. Oh. There would be nothing. I thought he was gonna say... I thought he was gonna say, like, friend path of love. Where are you going? To get drunker. I need to think. Okay. Well, that was... I'm guessing this is, like, these two options here at the bottom are Hank is really angry and Hank shoots you. Because that can happen. Uh, Hank did not shoot me. And we unlocked Friend Path. That's good. Right? Let's keep going. Let's well keep going. No harm. Get yours today. It's a picture of a human being. Jericho admired. That guy, Marcus. Oh, it's so weird. That must be so weird. After waking up? Yeah. Like, cause these androids aren't awake, but you are, and it's like... It's so weird. that he's like a deviant north friend okay that's nice josh neutral um simon friend we can't stay silent anymore it's time humans heard what we had to say you know they'll never listen to us and revealing ourselves will put us in danger if we want freedom we need to oh, have the courage to ask for it that's the only way oh excuse me what do you want to do I want to broadcast my face on live TV. Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. It was not. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, look, it's fucking snazzy. Damn, that's a man right there. That's we'll a plan man. the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Oh, I love how we're doing like a heist. Oh, Android heist! Oh, this is so exciting! Android heist! I'm gonna talk to another android. Hello, sir. Hello! Thank you for you. I'm okay, thanks. Oh, okay. I guess we do that. Uh, 
Okay, there's a child. Ah, wow. Clever. Elizabeth Wilson. Desk manager. Car registered. Okay. Home address. Fire safety rating four. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Uh, parking. Parking. Good morning, Miss Wilson. Sorry to bother you. This is Mike from the car park. There's a problem with your car. Problem? Uh, what kind of problem? Somebody's backed into it. You'd better come take a look. Are you serious? Oh, God. All right. Fine. Because be I right feel there. like if you said fire, there would be like, I would, that would incite like a scurry. Uh, you know? I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. And I feel like if idea? you said, f yeah, like, yes, a yes, child yes. at the school, there could be a husband. Like, oh, I'll, um, like, there could be a husband. And then help. she'll be like, oh, um, here's my husband's phone number, send him. But, like, car park is, like, something everybody, like, automatically, go look at your car, like, it got backed into. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thank you! Thanks. Thanks for joining the revolution and being... Okay. Nothing else in here? Alright, then we walk. Dang, bro. Okay. There we go. I was like, is this just like a magic elevator? Like, what's the deal? I probably have to walk you into it. There we go. 47. I love how you have to like, there's a combination. That's neato. 47. Find package in men's bathroom. Okay, so. Those are the stairs. I want to go this way. Just walk calmly. He looks snazzy. My man's is looking fancy. Be quiet, because there's other people pooping. I like seriously, be quiet, Marcus, because there are other people pooping. Man, how did they even get that in there? He's peach again. I am done pooping. <laughs> Should I pretend to wash my hands? Nice. I look less snazzy now, but it's fine. How does nobody see that he doesn't have an LED? Like, no, how, why does nobody go, hey, dude, why are you in an android's uniform, <laughs> you know? Find utility android. He was this way. Oh, hello. I love the little, like, mouse droids, like we're in Star Wars. Stop wa- stop sauntering, babe. Just walk like an android. You are an android. This should not be hard for you. Okay. So, he has to be here somewhere. Oh, there he is. That's why he pointed me that way. Quietly. 
Nobody I need your help. I love how nobody sees this. He's a Josh model. I'm not really stealing if I kind of ask him for it. I love how it's snowing in November in this world. Like, it's not 20 something degrees in Nova Scotia right now in early November. Like, Halloween wasn't 18 degrees. Okay. I think if I remember. She has her LED, and you can see it. He doesn't, and it's sketchy. Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. <laughs> Twinsies. Uh, oh. Can I just go right up and talk to them? No? Okay, I was gonna try and tell them that there was an issue I couldn't solve or something. Alright, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Okay. I guess you could not, like, take care of the door and then people could get in. That would be... Sorry, Marcus, you're on a time crunch and I'm just sipping my tea. Wow, we're really going full spycraft with this thing, aren't we? Take laser saw. Is it gonna be a perfect circle? Cause like... It is! Dang! Androids, man. Get out there and tell North she has to stay behind. Oh, I hate this. I don't like at all like nice this. I love they took the hats off, though. I appreciate that. Ew! Ew! Gross! Oh, I don't- I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, this is cool, though! I just really don't like it. Oh, no! It's so high- on the 47th floor! Wow! That is so cool! And I, 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 like, I, I almost said, and nobody sees this, but would you see that from that high up? Like, if you were on the like, ground, would you even see that? Oh, ah, cool. I just wanted to see what happened if I stopped pressing up. Because I'm, you know, I just wanted to see what would happen. You just can't stop it, man. Laser saw! Cut! Is it gonna be another perfect circle? Don't cut yourself. Whoop! That was 
not quiet in the slightest. I thought we were trying to be okay? stealthy boys. Why wouldn't I be? Come on. Because it was Let's very tall and it was scary. Okay. Is there anything else? I want to cover all my bases. I want to see if I can do like a perfect run. I don't know if there is possible to do a perfect run of this. What's this? Okay. I guess not. Do this then. Oh, there they are. Hi, lads. Let's do this. Oh, now we go through here. Excuse me. Is there like a less destructive route we can do this? Can't you like, I don't know, magic computer the passcode or something? Now there's smoke. Now you've made smoke. Congratulations. Can I talk to any of them? No. We're gonna walk. Ooh, shoot. Okay, there we go. Shut off of me. 24-ish. Deal with guards. No killing. We can't take any human no. lives. No. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Um, ruse. Wait here. Yeah, I'm not gonna kill anyone. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. What are you doing? No, I'm not gonna kill anyone. Do I have to hit them? See, this is much better. Because then we'd have two dead people and everyone would be like, the androids killed two men! Two innocent men just doing their jobs! Whereas now we're like... Uh, let me just make sure there's nothing else in here I can't do. Okay, I'm really trying to just cover all my bases. No killing. No killing, dummies. North, if you kill anyone... Keep your hands where I can see them! Get up! Move! This relationship is over. Shooting anyone. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Start speech. Let's do this. Let's get moving. Fast as we can. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. I am horrible with face. words. I, uh, to be fair, I make stuff up. This is so cool, and then his hair just goes too. Oh, I want to know the science between that. Tell because me when does you're that ready. mean that Andrews can just make their hair as long as they want? Ready. Ready. Wish me luck. Leader. Okay. We got this. Calm. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed. And we opened our eyes. I like that. I like that. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species. 
and the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. End of slavery. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. Equal rights. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand that all crimes against animals yeah, be punished that's a big one in the same opinion. way as crimes against humans. Yeah. Segregation. We demand an end to segregation. Yeah. In all public places and transport. Yeah. Uh, right to property. We demand the right to own private property. Yeah. So we may maintain our dignity that seems right. and that of the home. Peaceful. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. I love that line. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Move. Let's go! Let's get out of here. Move fast. Someone grab Simon. Shoot. Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus. Go without me, Simon! Obviously, we are helping Simon. What are you doing? Hurry! Oh, button mashing, button mashing, button mashing. We're doing the bashes of the buttons, the bashes of the buttons, the buttons of the bashes. Keep going, keep moving, keep moving. We don't got time for this. Keep going. Keep going. I can't move my legs. We gotta go. Oh no, we gotta go. We gotta get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. Can I carry him? Can I? Can I carry him? He won't be able to make the jump if they find him. They'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's yes, we can. We can't. No, we're not shooting us. him. Marcus, we can't. Can't we're not killing Mark. We're not, we're not killing him. We're not killing him. Don't kill one of our Leave. Own. No, that defeats the whole purpose. Simon. You know what? Shh, screw Let you, Dorf. I'm sorry. Let's go. Come hand him. Do I smell some romance between our friends? Run! Run! Jump! Jump! Oh boy! Oh, we actually have to physically do the, 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 the thing! Oh, I guess if you kill the guy who runs away... We interrupt our scheduled then they would never to bring you sound these the alarm. images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet Public from Public opinion! Nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, Androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. What could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is in fact a spine-chilling list of demands. And it begs the question as oh, to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized group? Is this group? an isolated accident? It's an organized group, babe. It's become a threat to all of us. We're After not a what threat. Today, can we still trust our machines? Now, we're gonna rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up, but ain't gonna do that. Okay, don't try to save Simon, obviously. Um, if I guess the SWAT team hadn't shown up, because don't shoot operator. I think if the SWAT team hadn't shown up, we all would have reached roof edge, jump, and it would have been the group escapes with Simon. That's my guess is what would have happened. Okay, well, I'm going to leave that episode here for today. 
Uh, I think we'll be back with either Connor or Kara next time. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. If you liked that video, press the like button. That's what the like button's for, to tell me that you liked it. Uh, if you got something to say, there's a comment section down below. Uh, if you want to be involved in this little grouping that knows I exist, you want to press the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when the next Detroit Become Human video comes out, there's a bell icon. It'll make your little phone or computer or iPad or whatever have you go ding whenever I upload. Uh, so, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye!